Hi, welcome to the Big Bear Homestead. And today we're going to do a product review on Ryobi's tabletop drill press. All right, so today we're going to talk about Ryobi's tabletop drill press. Now, we purchased this drill press when we started remodeling our bathroom. And the reason why is because I'm going to build our cabinet sink area here. I'm going to fabricate it here to fit our needs, what we need for the bathroom. So I talked to my wife into getting this drill press because I really needed it. Anyway, I was really impressed by this little machine here. Um, for a small tabletop drill press, this thing is a monster. It's 120 volt, spins it around at 2800 RPMs, which is awesome. So in favor of my old sitcom that I used to do enjoy. <laughs> so the chuck is a half inch chuck. And there's a lot of features to this drill press that I really like, and there's one major one that I really don't like, but as a do-it-yourselfer, I can fix. One of the things that I like is it does have a depth adjuster on the side. So I can measure out how deep I need the hole to go, especially if I'm using a fastener bit, if I don't have to go all the way through, if I'm trying to countersink something, I can set that, especially if I have to do multiple holes or I have to do it multiple times, I can set it, forget it, and then just go into the whole factory line of just hitting it. I don't have to remeasure and it just makes doing precision work a lot easier for you on this machine. Also, as you can tell, the lighting in my shop is not the best. So Ryobi figures, I must not be the only guy in the world that has bad lighting in his shop, so they hooked you up with a nice, powerful LED light. Comes down here and it hits the work area. But they didn't stop there. They said, you know what? We know Jason over there at the Big Bear Homestead, we know he's getting old and his eyes are starting to go. And so let's go ahead and hook up that fat boy over there and pow! They put a laser in there and I can go back to my childhood days and X marks the spot. And so wherever the X is, that's where the bit is gonna hit, okay? So which is, that is also really nice when you're trying to line something up where you've got to drill for this exact spot. Also, the on-off switch is really easy. Bam, bam. So if you're doing something and you gotta turn it off quickly, I mean, they made it big enough you could headbutt this thing, pop, and turn it off with your head. In case you were like that guy in my uh, tool safety video that wasn't really paying attention and drilled his hand, if you're that guy, then all you gotta do is headbutt this to turn it off. Um, it'll accept, like I said, up to half inch chucks, so you could actually use this big four incher if you had to. You can use paddle bits, regular drill bits, and of course, Fastener bits. Now these are the bits that you usually use uh, most of the time when you're using a drill press and it like a boss. Now what I don't like about this tabletop drill press is the table. Now any uh, carpenter or woodworker you know they'll tell you most of these tables or just trash anyway, no matter what drip, what uh, product of drill press you buy, no matter which company it comes from. They're usually just really small tables and you don't have room to really move large pieces of wood or anything like that. But this one, even though it's locked down, it still, you know, it's, no, it's not gonna do it now. But usually it'll, it'll move a little bit. It's a small service to work on, and to adjust it is just up and down with this handle, okay? And then, then you gotta tighten it back up. But if, also you can see is, one, the hole 
Where it's supposed to go is off center. Your safety hold, that way if you punch through, it's kind of off center of the X. So that means anytime I move it, I gotta make sure I adjust it back because there's too much play side to side when you loosen it up. So you gotta hit that laser to make sure the center of your X is in the center of the safety hole. That's just another extra step which takes time, which most of the times, guys like me, that's just time that we don't have. Um, but how I'm gonna remedy this is there's a lot of guys on YouTube that have built bigger tables for their drill press that they were able to fasten to this and move it accordingly. Um, another thing with this, as you can see, there's no clamp to help you hold down any wood. Now, Ryobi on their miter saw, they put a, an adjustable clamp on there that can help as a third hand. Well, I gotta bring in a C-clamp and clamp it back through here or over here. Also, there's, no, there's really no fence to help you to be able to clamp stuff to a fence either. But see, all of these things are things that I can fix when I build my larger table, my larger workspace to go on here. But again, you know, that's the complaint everybody has with every drill press that's out there, whether it's tabletop or standalone. There's guys that are building their own tables for this. Just check out YouTube, they're all over the place. Just put in drill press table and they're there. But other than that, this puppy works like a champ. I like it, it gets, it gets two thumbs up for me. Uh, the only reason, I mean, the only reason why I'm not giving it a thumbs up and a half or anything like that is because the thing that I complain about, it doesn't matter if I spent $20 on a drill press or seven or $800 on a drill press, that problem is still gonna be there. That's just, I guess that's just um, the uh, standard operating procedure for drill presses is just to have bad tables. I don't know. Um, but other than that, it works great. It's got a lot of good features to it. The, um, if, now, if you do wanna change gears in it, cause there's a lot of ways to be able to change some gears, you do have to take this off right here and it does let you come in here and pop it open here. But I haven't had the need to be able to do that yet, but you just unscrew this right here and you can do that as well. I'm one of those, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I haven't, I'm not advanced enough in my carpentry skills that I would need to, to have to do that yet. Now later on I may, and I may come back and do another review if that's difficult to do or not. I haven't had to mess with it yet or anything. The way that it comes standard out of the box has been working for me. So that does it for this week's a review on the Ryobi drill press. Again, I give it two thumbs up. The price matches the performance. Matter of fact, the performance outdoes the price. I would, I would have been willing to pay a little bit more for this drill press knowing the level of performance that I have gotten with it. But coming with the Ryobi name, that's almost par for course with them. You get more than what you pay for. Um, that's why I'm a big, just about every tool I have, you guys noticed, is Ryobi. Ryobi is, a, used to, is pretty much taking over the old reputation of Craftsman. Craftsman used to be built for the working man, where it was a very high quality tool at a decent, affordable price. And that's what, at least to us, that's what the Ryobi name is starting to, to represent to us here on the Big Bear Homestead. Now, Thanks for coming by the Big Bear Homestead, and like always, have a nice day. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about Ryobi's tabletop drill press. Now, we purchased this drill press when we were remodeling our bathroom, because I'm going to make our own stuff in the bathroom because right now I'm having a hard time saying the word cabinet. You know, the cabinet that the sink sits in, I, for some reason, I just can't say cabinet. I don't know, I'm like, I'm getting ready to make our own and my brain just dies. It's just not, there's nothing there. And I apologize to you, the viewer, because for some reason I cannot articulate and I cannot pronounce the word cabinet <laughs> when I'm supposed to. See, sitting right here, I can say it all day long. When I'm supposed to say it, I'm not able to say it. It's the mouse's fault. That's what it is. It's the mouse's fault. 
Hi, welcome to the Big Bear Homestead. And today, we're gonna to do a product review on Ryobi's drill press. No, I wanna say tabletop drill press because it's not a standalone drill press. Obviously, it sits on the tabletop and there is a difference. About two, three hundred dollars worth of difference. <laughs> this is not the one, then it'll be the next one. 